Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, (laughs) podcast. Welcome to Ideas by Elliot with your host, small business entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, I should say, and uh, professional podcaster, Elliot Christensen. We're here today with Z-Man, an amazing local musician from the Green Bay area. Elliot's going to have a great conversation about life, love, music, and all things in between. Here's your host, Elliot Christensen. Hey, Z-Man. Hey, what's going on, bro? It's uh, good. (laughs) I've been looking forward to this forever. I know. It's been too long. Yeah. Finally. Finally. So, and you gave me the deadline because you said you're moving again. Yeah, I'm moving to uh, Seattle in uh, two weeks. So... So, truth in advertising, are you still from Green Bay? Um, yeah, I'd say you, this, this. No, be- you are. You, we yeah, own you. Yes, exactly. We yeah. own you. You are. You are ours. Yes. I'm claiming. You. Yes. We don't. We don't have That's the. Where, where I'm from. You know. You know, yeah. like all these other places, they have other people. We yeah. have Z-Man. Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I want to start with uh, your beginning, and I think uh, uh, that would mostly be with music. So, tell me about how you got your start in music. Um, well, um, first of all, um, when I was in my late teens, I was, uh, you know, a uh, heavy partier and everything was, was pretty lost in life and, um, just kind of at a dead end, you know what I mean? Towards the end, kind of like hitting rock bottom and, uh, I always wanted to play music and, um, I was fascinated by the guitar and everything. And, um, yeah, when I was, um, about 20 years old, I went to, uh, Dick's Music and, um, I signed up for guitar lessons. And um, I met um, an instructor there named Dennis Panic, and a very good friend of mine. And um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing guitar ever since and singing. And um, yeah, I uh, I feel I owe a lot to uh, Dennis and um, you know in his training and everything. And uh, it's kind of made me to what I am right here right now. And um, with uh, all the hard work that that goes forth into crafting your own particular um, genre of music, um, such as myself. And, um, it's a real blessing, you know, and, um, I, it's a passion of mine that I want to make into a career. So you would classify your music as what sort of style? Um, it's hard to explain, um, what I do. It's, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a scat, pop, funk, folk, reggae, kind of mix into one song, um, depending on um, which song I play, obviously, um, but um, yeah, that's kind of like my signature sound, you know, the kind of yeah. like the, the heavy, the heavy, fast, aggressive riffs, and um, that little uh, the Z-Man, that little Z-Man vocal sound as well, you know, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, yeah, it's unique. It's I, unique I am your biggest fan, yeah. yes? Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> You. You're always leaving lovely messages. Good. Always. Good. 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 I, you know, I, I love uh, musicians that have passion. And I, yeah. I, that's how I always classify you. Um, I think there may be, uh, this is not, this isn't in a bad way. I think there may be people that are more technically proficient, but I love people that have, that just put themselves into everything that they, that they do. Yeah. And I, I I, I feel like you do that times a thousand. So, and, uh, you know, like the Kurt Cobain's and uh, Jimi Hendrix, you know, people that, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, of course they're awesome musicians, right? Yes, of course. They're but, but what amazing. I think what people really love about them is you can feel every note. You can feel every, every, yeah. every utterance of speech that they put into their music. Yeah. I, I, yeah. They love what they do. You know, yeah, and they're they're passionate about what they did, and uh, you know their music lives on. You know, their their sort of energy. You know what I mean? Their 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 feelings go through sound. You know what I mean? Um, and that's very spiritual, very spiritual. Music is. You know, your thoughts are out loud. You know what I mean? And um, it can change the world. It can. You know, and it has, and it's still evolving. You know. So uh, talk me through. Uh, sort of your your songwriting process just a little bit um it kind of all depends um sometimes um i'll just be sitting in bed and um 
I'll just be thinking of a lyric or something like that. And then I, well, I better get up and write this down, otherwise it's going to go away. <laughs> you know, you, you, uh, you catch something. You catch something. Um, that you least that you don't even know what it's actually coming. You, you catch something, something goes through your head, and you got to write it down immediately. So you do, you write it down? Oh yeah. Or do you record it? Um, I, I kind of write down the lyrics first, and then maybe the guitar riffs, or vice versa. You know, um, it kind of all depends on if you know what type of day I'm having and everything. You know what I mean? So in, the, in my feelings and whatnot, and. You know, sometimes I just pick up the t pick up the old guitar and just start strumming, and then I sing on top of it, and I just write a song like that. You know what I mean? So it just it it just depends on your on you know what I'm doing and whatnot. So how many how many songs have you cracked? Um, hundreds, thousands? No, not five. That, no, not not not, not even. <laughs> yeah, that, let's say five. No, yeah, no, um, probably like. You know, a good, a good 50, 60 songs, yeah. say, you know. So but. would you say that the majority of those start with guitar and then vocals, or is it lyrics first? Um, guitar, guitar, then vocals, and then you listen back, and then I kind of, like, write the lyrics, too. You know what I mean? You're something a little bit, you know, just kind of, you know, looking at different avenues. What can I put here, and what am I, what am I actually singing about, and... Um, and then you can kind of tweak the uh, the guitar as well and um, approach different chords and whatnot. And, you know, try to get different colors. So what's fascinating to me about music is, I, you know, when I think about the, the music that I love, that I play on repeat, right? Mm -hmm. Those are things that I think the first thing is the, the, mu the melody of the music, right? Yeah. That hooks me. Mm -hmm. And then... I hear a lyric that just blows me away. Like yeah. Just part of a, you know, a single line, a single lyric, and it just pulls me in, and I make it my own. Um, so, is that what, how do you, how, as a as an artist, how do you get that? How do you do that? I feel that on some of your songs. Do you? I do. Thank you. So where I, where I you know I I, lo I love the melodies. I love the you know the, the energy. But yeah. then there's you know a particular lyric and you make it. Yes. And so I don't tell me tell me about that. Um, I I you know I'm just trying to write the best music I can. You know what I mean? Um, trying to trying to give the listener my story, my uh, two cents. And um, like I said, what we talked about earlier, I just I love what I do. You know, I love what I do, and I'm you know good at it, and I just want to keep pursuing it. And just kind of keep the intri keep the listener intrigued, and keep me happy writing good songs, and keep the fans happy and everything. And you know, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. You know, I, yeah, it's. What What's your most personal song? Um, I would definitely say um, the song I wrote called "Murmur." I used to work with this girl at Starbucks, um, and she died on Christmas night. I've known Beth and Bernie for, oh my gosh, I worked with her for years and years at Starbucks on Oneida Street. And she was killed in a car crash. And um, yeah, that song um, is definitely the most powerful song I've written easily. You know, it's just like, it's just, it's, it's just, it's sad. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so um that, that that first song I sang um, earlier in the, on the other guitar, um, that was a song for her too that I wrote in Denver. Um, but uh, that song was called Buckled. Um, but yeah, uh, both songs um, I wrote for her in a sense. And um, yeah, it's definitely, um, it's funny how we go through different life changes and um, different journeys in life. And it's great being a songwriter like myself because that's how you write songs, you know, and going through different paths and journeys and experiencing different moments in life and um, experiencing the unexpected in a sense because that's something definitely unexpected, you know what I mean? Like, So how did that song come about? Because you said that <laughs> sometimes the inspiration will hit you, you're in bed and you get up and you have to write. Yeah. Thing. But that, I, it doesn't strike me that that was the case. I was, I was pissed. Yeah, I was pissed. I was angry. Um... I went home and I just wrote it. It was just like, boom. Rest the sisters, you know. I just one of those. I, I like, um, 
I just I just wrote it, yeah. And then it just kind of evolved um, into what the song is today, you know? So it's it's um, it's awesome. It's it's a way for me to always remember her. She's always she's always with us, you know what I mean? She'll never be forgotten because she was a very special woman. You know, so yeah. So playing live, um, do you do you shy away from songs like that? Oh no 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 no. Gosh no. You know I love that you have the same nervous laugh that I do. <laughs> oh. Because you're, you're talking about a very heartfelt thing, and you, yeah. you know, it, it, like I have that too, where it hits me, and I, and I sometimes like I don't know how to handle it, and I laugh it off. I think that people perceive that wrong. <laughs> um, you know, I look back, and it's it's crazy that it's been two years, and um, yeah, it's it's getting it's getting a lot easier though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Letting letting someone go like that, just accepting reality and what life is, and it's life is so fragile, so fragile, and we take it all for granted, and we have to live for the moment, and we have to live our dreams. So, uh, do, we, do you do you think that you know not to get too, too philosophical? <laughs> I want to, you know, I I'd like this to be fun, but yes, but no, you're that, good. Yeah, that, let's that talk. makes that makes me think. <laughs> don't we have to, uh, you know, to to get through our day, don't we have to take some things for granted? Um, you know, we got to pay our taxes and, oh, yeah. and talk to insurance I know. people. And, I know. So. If we get into an accident, we got to go through that. And yeah. like, it's just, you know, grown up things, if you want to call it that. But, right. you know, I just kind of block that stuff out. I do all that stuff, obviously. But, right. you know, it's right. like, it's what you got to do. But just do what do what makes you feel happy. You know what I mean? And you know, you're doing what you love right now, man. I can tell. Do I? Yes. I love hanging out with my friends, man. Yes. Like that's really there's nothing better than that. So yeah. if I can find a way to uh, to cover my expenses and talk to my friends all day, I would do that till from dusk till dawn. Till yeah. Dawn till dusk. Yeah. I would do that all day. I would do that all day long. From dawn to dusk, he says. Yes. Well, I'm more of a night guy, so. Yes, night guy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I always night, get those things confused. Yeah, night guy always wins. Yep. Really? Like oh, Batman? Yes. <laughs> night guy always wins. Don't argue. <laughs> Off the rails already. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so you have been, uh, you you played music all around the country, really, right? Yeah, in a sense, um, except mainly just for like, I, not really the the East Coast mainly, but yeah, down in Nashville, um, um, all throughout Wisconsin. Um, Denver, Colorado, um, a little bit of um, the West Coast, um, yeah, and um, it's not over. You know what I mean? It's it's just it's just the beginning. You know what I mean? It's um, I love traveling. Um, I can't wait to um, go out to Seattle and have a brand new life out there and experience um, what lies ahead. You know, because it's kind of like you're you have a bright future. And you're opening up a door, and you don't really know where it's going, but everything you just you know the net's gonna catch you when you fall. You know what I mean? Like you just kind of like I feel like I'm gonna be jumping off a building. You know what I mean? But you know that everything's gonna be okay. You know? But well, because you can always come back here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I honestly, I hope that you feel like that's your safety net. Oh yeah. We love you here. Yes. Uh, so second to Green Bay, which is the greatest place to play music. Uh, what? Tell me a story about somewhere else you played music. Uh... The um, the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville is um, a really cool place. Actually, the Bluebird Cafe um, every Monday um, there's at least gosh 50, 60 songwriters in line every every Monday, um, and they um, you walk in and you get up on stage and you play your one or two songs depending on how many people. Um, are signed up and you just you know you, you kind of you get on stage you kind of look around and you're kind of like wow you know Bob Dylan played here you know BB King all those all those cool cats back in the day have played there that got their start um, and it's a cool it's a cool feeling actually playing there you know um, uh, not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that so that that's really amazing to me uh, because I, I described my my feeling last night and thankfully there was a uh, lightning storm but because oh it, yeah because it it, <laughs> it well it described perfectly my inability to sleep because i just had like these uh 
uh, inspirations, knowing that I was going to get to talk to you today. Yes. Knowing that I'm going to get to talk to Brent later. Yeah. Uh, today's great to me. And, uh, but honestly, I felt like lightning was like just like bouncing around in my brain last yeah. night. So um, that nervous energy, that's where I'm kind of going with this. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I think I can relate to being on a stage where your idols are. Because yeah, that's how I felt last night. I, yeah, I felt like nervous and afraid and excited. And yeah, overwhelmed. But uh, I mean, the positive sides of all of those those things, right? That uh, and I I I need that to push yeah. me forward. So, what was that like for you to be on a stage that Bob Dylan played on? You know, um, a little nervous, but as soon as you hit that first chord and you start singing, the rest is history. You know what I mean? Like you're just, you become the song. You don't, you don't care what anyone else thinks. You don't care what they're looking at. You just play the song. It's just, it's all over. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's great. You know, it's great. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though. It's 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 a fun experience. We as artists, you you just need to do that kind of stuff. You know? So I I totally want us to, <laughs> I want to steal your laugh and I want to have that in either our intro or our ending permanently for every oh, show. Soundboard. Right, that's yeah. I was pushing on demand. I actually need to have a Z-Man soundboard. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> We can probably get enough isolated audio. Yeah. Not multi-tracking today. Though, yeah, like so. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm I'm a wizard with the with the softwares now. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. So uh, shifting kind of the to the opposite end of that, can you tell me about a uh, an embarrassing time that you had, or like some some uh, some sort of crazy time on stage? On, or um you know just just kind of like maybe mainly just like the, the the early stages um of my uh of my uh musicianship if you'd like to call it that um just kind of like you know sometimes you know breaking strings on a, on a stage is kind of embarrassing and um and then sometimes if your battery doesn't work uh, you know just kind of like little things like that so you know technical difficulties and whatnot and you know, because I'm kind of a perfectionist a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I want right. to, you know, I just, I want to sound the best I, I can. You know what I mean? But, um, so just kind of like those, those types of things, you know, um, I, I remember I used to break strings a lot, a lot. Yeah. In my, in my early stages, I don't know why, um, I, until I, um, met a luthier named, uh, named Tony that's got a shop here on Main Street, um, and he fixed up my saddle, and um, there's just kind of a problem with the saddle and everything, and uh, fixed up my guitar a little bit, and, you know, so ever since then, I haven't had a problem, so. <laughs> if, um, okay, I mean, that, that's really good. So, uh, it, <clears throat> you, you always seem like you're in a good mood. So, yes. what is your secret for that? I found... Um, I found what I love to do. I found what I love to do. You know, like I said, like early, like when I was in my late, you know, when I was just getting out of high school, I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't. I didn't know what I wanted. I feel so lucky to have, to have found, um, music in my life. I just do. And I love it. And I'm going after it full throttle and nothing's getting in my way, you know? Um, you know, so that's... I love what I do. <laughs> so it brings me, it like singing and performing, it just gives me, oh, just, it's so right on. You know, I just, I love it. I live for it. It's what I, I, I live it, I breathe it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, you know, so that's, that's what I, you know, I just, I love what I do, you know? So it's funny you use that term, you live it, you breathe it. And I, I mean, I know that's a common term. But yeah. I always would use that. I, I taught a little class at NABTC for uh, creating websites, right? web development class. Yeah. And a good number of the students that were in the class, they, sh they really shouldn't have that, right? Yeah. And, <clears throat> and, and um, so I would always say, you know, guys, you're going to be competing for jobs 
against people like me and people even better than me. Yeah. Like they live, eat, and breathe this stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, um, what advice would you give to somebody who is contemplating getting into music? Now? What would I advise them to do? Or yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, think about yourself when yeah. you're, you know, nineteen, twenty, whatever, and on the you know, every every person's different. Every person lives a different journey, um, different experiences. Um, you just you have to put forth the effort. You have to be a hard worker, and you have to have dedication. And um, with patience comes time. You know what I mean? Um, you you have to be patient, and you have to work hard, and you have to take it slow at first. Um, you know. Um, you have to walk before you can run. You know what I mean? So I, you know what? I don't. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I have uh, I have tried about eight million times to uh, learn guitar. Yeah. And I'm horrible at it. And I just hit a point where I'm like, I can't play anything I want to play. And then I give it up. So how do you get over? over you know what I'm asking? Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. I mean, it takes a long. It takes a while. It takes a little while. You have, like I said, you have to be patient. You have to work your your little tushy off, especially just just crafting the guitar in general. Yeah. You know, I'm still learning. I'm I, I'm I'm learning on a thing every day. I'm learning something new every day. I just uh, you know that that's just part of being an artist. That's the fun thing about being a musician too, and uh, loving what you do. Um, I mean, I I remember you know certain things you know give up blah blah blah. Before you know it, you're playing something that you never could play before a month ago, for instance. You know what I mean? Um, and once you get, once you get over that hump, everything kind of sets, sets sail, you know? And like I said, I'm, you know, I'm not by any means the best guitar player ever, but I love what I do and I'm still learning. You know what I mean? I'm still working hard at what I do and I've crafted, I've crafted my own type of genre and I'm, you know, I'm still, I just got to keep on performing, you know? Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's it's okay. a wild journey. Let me ask that a little different then. Yeah. Um, did you first get on stage? <laughs> did you first Sorry. get on stage before you should have? Oh my gosh. No, no. I I got on stage at the right time. I I remember playing at Harmony Cafe. You should be a politician because you're dodging this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I what I want to know is how how does someone know when they're good enough to play live? I guess you don't know. You just got to get up on stage and play. You don't know. No, it's like. You know, I don't know, it's kind of like you know, having a baby. You don't know if you're actually ready for it until it's, it's, it's there. You know what I mean? Like, you just get up on stage and you learn from your mistakes. It's trial and error. You know, like I remember playing in Harmony Cafe. Of course I was nervous. I was nervous for a little while. I was nervous for, for, for you, know, a little, you know, a long time, you know. I'm, and I'm a pretty charismatic guy, you know, but I, I was only like, you know, 20, 21 at the time, you know, so I was still a little puppy, you know. Um, looking back now, I'm, I'm 28, and it's just like, you know, looking back at those days, I'm like, whew, man, we dodged a bullet there, yeah, we, you know, we, we tried, we, we've came along, we've, uh, we came a long way, you know, so in, um, you know, like, a, like, if you're a young musician, if you're just starting out, get on stage and get the practice, the earlier, the better, you know, and learn from your mistakes on stage, before you hit the big stage, you know what I mean. So, have you had any uh, tough criticism that was? Um, I don't know. How do you handle criticism? I I handle I handle it good. I um you know. No, I, I know you handle it. I, I I know that you have an ability to handle it. But yeah. Where where does that come from? Because I will tell you when uh, um when somebody criticizes me, and it's usually warranted. Let's be real, right? Yeah. Like chewing gum. Right. Uh, yeah, I I, t I take I take that I take that really hard. You take it personally. Be, be, uh, well, a and bit. and and I should. Well, who wouldn't? And I should, right? So yeah, so in the gum yeah. example, I'm like, ah oh, man, now I want to go back and like undo all of the things I did wrong, right? So it's really hard to es like escape that. You can go down the wrong path with criticism, I feel. You can. And, and maybe it can I do. be a disease. And, you, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I think I have that disease. And <clears throat> so this is part of what I think is so inspiring about you to me. <laughs> that you have, you, you're always laughing. 
you're oh my god you're always smiling i don't even like my face would hurt if i did that <laughs> yeah um so how are you able to do that uh so okay i'm one more little sidebar on that all right, yeah, all right, um, all right. people buy self-help books how to be yeah. happy yeah how to have a more fulfilling life you should maybe you should write a book. <laughs> exactly. But, but like, I'm writing out a book right what now. Are, what are playing. some? Are you really? No. I, oh, no. You, I think you should. I think I should. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> just, I, I, I want, I want the, any, you know, the the two people listening. I would like for yeah. them to know Z Man's <laughs> secret of happiness. Because you are, my God, you <laughs> are one of the happiest guys I know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um. Ah, uh, let's see here. Um. First of all, like, if we're going back on like to criticism just if you're an entrepreneur you're starting a small business take the criticisms because that person is obviously a friend of yours or a family member and they want you to succeed take into consideration um you know kind of um look at your options look at your different paths and which way you can choose and make your business better and help it grow um there's, it's going to be tough at first, but you got to stick with it and you got to plow through. You got to keep plowing through um, until you get to the top. Um, and I would just um, just keep on. Um, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> um, Does it just come easy to you? Yeah. Like, Did it always come easy to you? No, well, like I changed a lot when I when I first when I was writing music. You know, as soon as I picked, as soon as I walked into Dick Music, picked up that guitar, and something happened. I just don't know what it was. So a talent, a talent was born. A talent was born. I, you know, and I, I remember when I was like, I don't know, 12, 14 years old. I wanted to own a restaurant, you know, and shake it up. You know, way back in the day, shake it up like little curls, kind of like a curls west replica of some sort. It'd be like a giant shake on top of the building, be spinning around. There'd be there'd be girls in rollerblades, you know, you know, hopping your car, giving you your shakes and whatnot, hamburgers, whatnot. Thankfully, and, we were spared from this. Yes, exactly. By you, by you picking up a guitar. Yes, exactly. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I, I, I don't know how I do it. You know, I, I, I just, I love life. I love life and I, um, I want to be the influence, um, to everyone else. I want to be, a, you know, good person, um, make the world a better place, you know, and I feel through my music, I can make it that way, you know, and through connections with different people and traveling to different destinations in the world and whatnot. And, um, you know, so that kind of, that kind of stuff, you know. But <laughs> okay, so uh, I want you to play another song. Okay. Uh, whatever you want to play. I'm gonna do a ballad and, this time. I think. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so right before that, uh, and I'll let you, you know, get your get your gear. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. Uh, when you came in here, what were your thoughts in this studio? We're in Camera Corner Studios right now. I and, love it. And you mentioned some things. I love it. Love it. It's 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 awesome. If you're not physically here right now, you're missing the boat. Seriously, <laughs> it's great. It's cozy. It's got a good space. Um, you talked about the sound. Yeah, the sound is tremendous. Yes, it holds it. It holds the sound together. It's not bouncing off the walls or anything. It's warm. It's bright. It's um, it's groovy, baby. Yeah. All right, all right go get your guitar. Bro. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm and, shutting up now. <laughs> and uh, so, Nick, you have any uh, you have any words on that? Well, we're here to help you out with uh, your podcasting or video or whatever needs you have. Um, You know, if you're interested in using the studio, we have some filmings coming up next week. But you can always get an appointment with us. Just give me a call at 920-272-0148. Get your guitar. That was your cue, baby. (laughs) (laughs) So... So Z-Man brought a couple different guitars. Are you you using a different one this time? Yes. Okay, awesome. And what song are you going to play? Um, I'm going to play a new one that I just wrote, actually. Um, probably, I would say, like, last month I wrote this. <clears throat> so what's it called? Um, does, it, does it have a name? It doesn't does, have a name. It doesn't undecided. Have a, yeah, it's, it is an untitled song right now. It is. Can, we, can, 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 I be in, can I be in the title? 
His song's called Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, know, um, you gotta right. ask. Yeah, you right. gotta, you gotta ask. ask. Don't ask. <laughs> exactly. You, you just, you gotta ask. That's gotta, gotta be ask. some really sad, yeah. depressing. <laughs> <laughs> we just should make one up for him right yeah. now. That's okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> So wither away to the sound of your voice. Come on, people, let's rejoice. Pick up the phone. Periscope. Oh, yes. Periscope. Awesome. I'm, I'm sitting awesome. here Periscope. looking at Facebook. I'm like, I know Elliot's doing live video, but I can't find it. Well, you know, I, you got to mix it up. You got to see what works. Yeah, so, so uh, for all the the social media nerds, the uh, uh, I had uh, we had we had more than twice as many people on Facebook as we did on Periscope, which is I, I don't know if that surprised me or not. Well, you know, yeah. Periscope is Twitter, and Twitter is. <laughs> I don't know. It's, they're different animals, right? Yeah, but, Periscope is yeah. like the next thing. I, 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 that's what I hear. Well, it's, I, don't it's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was the next thing until Facebook said, oh, live streaming? Okay. We, we, we got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, like I said, I'm, I'm looking through Facebook. You're looking for things, yeah, and I'm yeah. seeing the, the business pages. Now Facebook's like, hey, click this button, and we'll, we'll automatically make you like a video to introduce your business. Well, you know, I mean, you and I could go work for Facebook someday. Yeah. So, it'd be fine. Yeah. We'll be Zuckerberg fine. will buy us out with his <laughs> Hello, are you on? I mean, you know, we're not, we're not musicians. You know, nobody wants to just, you know, we'll, we'll, all, be, we'll all be working for Facebook someday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already do. I mean, providing them marketing profiles. Right? 
I, I, well, yeah. we're kind of employees. I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's. We are a revenue fine. stream. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we are the product. <laughs> we are the product. So, thank you for that song. No uh, I, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I kind of had a laugh at the beginning because it did kind of start out sort of. Uh, what, what was the lyric? I, uh, I, I wilted away to your voice. <laughs> yeah, something like just with, like all your I listeners. Wither, yeah, as I wither away. Wither away. Yes. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. I even, I even screwed up the, the the lyric that uh, blew my mind. No, yeah. you're good. Yeah. So I think that should be named after me. Yes, I think so. <laughs> 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 so, all right. So, hey. Seattle. Yes. Why the heck are you going to Seattle? Um, I'm going to Seattle to um, pursue my music out there and to continue to work at Starbucks. Um, and um, yeah, I um, I want to get out of Wisconsin and uh, want to live in Seattle. I got some good friends out there. Um, I got a place all lined up. Um, uh, near downtown Seattle, and I'll be working at Starbucks downtown Seattle too. So, um, yeah, it's um, it you know it, it looks like a really cool city. Um, you know, some it, really fun, really fun town. Um, a lot is going on in that um, on that western region there with uh, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, kind of like a San Francisco too, right below. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of cool, funky culture and everything out there, and um, a lot a lot of opportunities, and um, lots of water and green green mountains. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, are you, yeah. Are you are you an outdoorsy kind of guy? Yeah, I love the outdoors. Yeah, love the outdoors. Yeah, love to go hiking and, um, you know, go out in the boat and whatnot when I have the opportunity to, and you know, and uh, yeah, it's just it's walking around. Um, in the woods and everything, and um, in the mountains, it's just. And I get the mountains. It's so confused. great. What's the mountain by Seattle? Is that? Well, they have like the Mount Rainier, Rainier. or they have yeah. um, the Olympics. <laughs> so, well. are you yeah. going to uh, are you going to go shoot a music video up in the mountains? You know? Yeah, yeah, right on top of Mount Rainier. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> right on the tip it'll, there, it'll, yeah. Be, it'll be have to be a little bit death metal though, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does no, we got the yeah, we got those heavy riffs, all right? Yeah, yeah we got some heavy acoustic hey, riffs. Yeah. Creed used to shoot on mountaintops all the time. Oh, that's yeah. true. You are yeah. just like Creed. You could do Creed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that tripped me back to the nineties, huh? Oh well, man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's creed right i don't even know yeah i wasn't like super yes. huge creed fan but i, didn't I don't hate, know i didn't that is, them. i know that they i know that they got some bad rap but whatever the guy and the guy went off the deep end yeah i i, I see i, I should have prepared for this yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna drop music references i can't, I can't, I can't think yeah. of the guy's name yeah. um so you you didn't really explain seattle to me though so you are yeah. you are like a uh, you're a big fish in the Green Bay pond. Yes. And Seattle is a music mecca. Oh yeah. To a certain extent. Big time, yeah. So what is your uh, and you talked about entrepreneurs a little bit. So yeah. what's your business strategy going out there? Um well I got my you know, I have business cards. Um, you just go to different venues and you know Hand your business cards, play it at open mics, get to, you know, start never networking with people and everything. And um, um, like to get a band together out there and whatnot. And it's going to have to meet the right people, you know. And, um, you know, there's um, uh, there's just there's so many different types of avenues out there in the in So the you're going to kind of start over and you're going to pound the pavement. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's okay, though. That's yeah. okay. Because we sound the way we do right now. Yeah. You know, we're okay. We can compete. You know what I mean? It's okay. We got our own thing going. You know, we got we got the energy, we got the sound. You Is know? there more than one Z-Man? Because you're saying we. Who's we? Oh, sorry. I'm no. I'm saying like me and my guitar. Sorry, I sound like a crazy person when I say we. Sorry. No, I, I no, because like I, no, because like I think that's great. Me and my stallions. You know, we are <laughs> again. <laughs> like I am one with that instrument. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. then you're then it would just be I again. Yes, be be, I, yeah. <laughs> if you, I am crazy. I am. I am crazy. I am. You should get I'll, more Z-Mans, though, because then you could be Z-Man group. Yes. Oh, it would, nice. It would be the Z-Man sound. Right. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> there is a Z-Man sound. Yes. So uh, do you think that that'll fit in in Seattle? Yeah. Who's not looking for a, a, a new type of uh, um, uh, style, acoustic style or something like You know what I mean? Like... You know, it's something new, and um, it's um, 
you know, it, you just got to take a chance. It's a risk worth taking. You know, it's a worst. It's a risk worth taking. You got to believe in what you're. You got to believe in what you're doing. So you know? you've been a solo artist for a decade, give or take, right? Give or take. Yeah. Yep. So you you said you'd like to get a band together. Um, yeah. Do you have to be the leader, or how how do you make that work? Yeah. Good question. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm the songwriter. I'm. I, I. You know, I would be the leader. You know what I mean? Like, um, get a drummer. Get. get well, what if I joined you and I'm an amazing singer? Yeah. So you can be a backup singer. I mean, I would I would want a drummer for you know what I mean. I don't okay, I so want to get a drummer first. So you you recognize you have to be the lead. I say so, you know, because that's yeah. what I kind of want to get a. That's you know, you know I'm I'm Z man, you know. So it's you know I'm you know I'm just start I'm you know I'm just starting out, you know what I mean. So okay. um you know, but first of all, you got to start playing in different places, and you know you find the right find the right drummer and whatnot, and get a bassist, and you know. So on and so forth, you know. So things start. So to I'm I'm not a good vocalist. I'm not a musician, right? Uh, so, um, but I, I have a I have a pretty good uh, uh, amount of experience dealing with entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting that you you have that recognition already because I think that there's a tendency with artists and even with uh, even with certain types of entrepreneurs where they think that they are going to be able to be able to work with anyone and it might even be a partnership an equal uh type of thing yeah but somebody has to be in charge yeah exactly and you know with with certain with my certain songs that i have it it just it has to be the right it's got to be the right fit some some i was playing with some people you know even in um this drummer in denver i just just wasn't the right he just wasn't playing the right rhythm. You know what I mean? I just want to, you know. Um, so the way you play guitar is very percussive, though. Yeah, so. it is. It's very percussive. Yeah, it's, so it's you, unique. Yeah, exactly. You need a drummer? Yeah, I, I know exactly. You or know, does it's, it just need to be a really subtle drummer? Yeah, um, maybe just maybe just more of like a subtle drummer, perhaps. Or, <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, or like, I made that up. Is that even a thing? <laughs> well, you know, something, something. I mean, maybe some bongos or something. I don't know. It just it it all depends on the the talent of the drummer and whatnot and, and what he has to offer to the table and kind of what i'm looking for um in the in, for the meat and potatoes of the song you know what i mean yeah. so um yeah you know but um yeah i'm excited i'm excited for for um for a new life and i wanted you know i wanted to come back here from denver um and I wanted to move up to Seattle, and um, I feel like I've been to enough places now in my life where I'm, I know where I want to be, and um, that's that. You know, um, I'm. You gotta, especially as an artist, entrepreneur, you have to take risks. You have to take risks, and you have to believe in what you are as a person and what you're selling, in a sense. You know what I mean? And people will come. You know. Um, because there's a lot of them, a lot of a lot of people are trying to do what what I'm doing, and you know everyone's trying to be a doctor and lawyer and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's 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 competition. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean there may be a lot of musicians in in Seattle, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all good. You know, right? It's true though. Right. You know, so um, just gotta keep on keep on trucking away. You know, keep on owning your style and. Things will come. How do you know when it's time to give up? Never. You never give up? No. Well, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll be devil's advocate. I'm going to be yeah. rough on you here. Okay. Uh, so I'm so young right now. I don't know. I'm. I just. I'm so young right now. I can't. I. That's not even. Hasn't even crossed my mind. So what? Why did you move to Denver, and then why did you move back? I moved to Denver to kind of get away from Wisconsin a little bit. Um, I just needed a little soul. It's. It's. Um, living out in Denver, I was like, wow. I learned so much about myself. I'm a Wisconsin kid, you know, so I'm a kid from Wisconsin. Um, I learned so much about myself. Um, I love the water. I miss the water. I miss the greenery. Mountains are great, but there's just, there's no, there's no water. It's kind of, it's kind of landlocked. Um, I wrote, I wrote a lot of cool songs in Denver, in Colorado in general. Um, and like, if I never would have moved to Denver, I never would have known who I actually was in what I wanted um, to live because it's not that easy to pick up your bags and hit the road and and, and live somewhere you know and um, Denver's Denver's a cool town 
but it's not really where I want to be in the next five years, per se. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, traveling is money well spent. It is. Well, I mean, so it just is. I think most people don't get an opportunity to do that. Yeah, and I'm lucky enough to actually have this opportunity to actually go for it and live the dream, you know? So in Denver, what was something that was easier than you expected? Driving. <laughs> yeah, driving around. I thought there'd be more... I mean, highway... Highway's always, obviously, there's there's rush hour traffic there. But, you know, driving down the side streets and whatnot, it was it was pretty easy to get there. I mean, get from point A to point B. It's just, it's very spread out. As soon as you get into the suburbs, everything is just spread out. It's country. You know, from, you know, Centennial, um, Englewood, and those types of areas outside of Denver. Um, but, um, yeah, it's... You know, um, you know, playing at different places. Um, it was fun, you know, playing at the Mercury Cafe. Um, Mercury, Ca Mercury Cafe is a cool little hippie joint um, right downtown Denver. Um, <clears throat> and then um, Local 46 was North Denver. That was a cool place to play, too. Um, so, um, yeah, um, just, get, just getting around town was, was, pretty, was pretty simple. Um, didn't even need to take the public transit, really out there and whatnot, but... So, what, 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 what did you find was more difficult than you expected? Um, honestly, trying to, you know, um, trying to get, as far as kind of like getting your, um, name out there and whatnot, and, um, just trying to get some gigs and everything, and, uh, it's, it's tough, but it's all about your attitude. You know what I mean? Your attitude comes first. You know, if it wasn't for my positive attitude, I'd be in a ditch. You know, honestly, I just would. I would, I'd be, because like Denver was honestly the loneliest time of my life, in a sense. It just was. For some reason, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm away from home. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm homesick for the, for, the, for the friends, the family, the water, the greenery. Um, just, um, knowing uh, um, you, I was just so fragile and delicate, you know, and tr just trying to make ends meet. Um, um, working at Starbucks, um, day in and day out, you know, um, <clears throat> and that was, um, that was about it, you know. Um, it, the, the best episode of my life was moving out to Colorado. It was. It was. It, hands down. Hands down. How would you describe the music culture of Denver versus even in Nashville? It Nashville is way more. Oh yeah, Nashville's way more. Yeah, Nashville's and, more. And how does it's, that compare to crazy. Green Bay? We have a music scene. Yeah, there's a little. I mean, oh, Green Bay compared to Denver? I, yeah, just tell me. About well, obviously Denver's. There's more stuff going on in Denver. There's bigger theaters. You got the Bluebird, the Bluebird Paramount, those types of things there. Um, the, I believe it, I believe they have the Marymore Theater. I believe it's called there too in Denver. But yeah, there's always stuff going on there. Always stuff going on there in Denver. Yeah. Um, I mean, Green Bay you can probably play. You can probably play four times a week at open mics and whatnot. Probably. I want to say maybe, maybe four times a week, maybe three. But in Denver, you could probably play every single day. Um, but going back to Nashville, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you go on Broadway and it's it's like Nash Vegas. I mean, like, it's, it's honky-tonk. It's very honky-tonk-like. And there's a lot of covers, a lot of cover bands are, are on Broadway. You don't see a lot of original stuff on Broadway. But, like, you know, there'd be, you go on Broadway, it's just, you go on a Friday night, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. You know, because everyone's just walking around, grooving out, drinking beer. There's band, there's two bands playing per bar. You know what I mean? And there's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, everything's lit up. It's it's fun. You got Bridgestone Arena right there. Bridgestone Arena is cool too. You can you know Lady Gaga plays there. Eric Church, all those types of guys. You know, so there's always something going on there. Um, but yeah. Um, so. Um, so what blew me away as a non musician was when I was in Austin for a week. And yeah, Austin and uh, Nashville are similar. Music. -wise. I went out on a Monday night and there was music at every bar. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. And every kind. So it wasn't just pigeonholed into uh, 
um, singer songwriters. It wasn't just pigeonholed into country. Uh, it wasn't just bands. It wasn't just solo. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, and um, on a Monday night. I just, oh yeah, Monday I will, night here. I will, it's like I will, oh my I will, gosh. I will, I will never forget. I went into a bar and. Um, it was sparsely attended. There were maybe, uh, you know, 10 or 15 people there. But um, this guy was playing his guitar behind his back. And yeah. he, I, I know I know a lot of musicians around here, but like his technical proficiency and even his stage presence yeah. uh, was really good. Like yeah. he would be the top dog in Green Bay probably, right? Oh, yeah. And this was on a Monday night this guy was playing. And he was, uh, uh, I don't remember, I don't remember the guy's name anymore either. Uh, to give him credit, um, so I, I feel like the um, it's interesting because right away you jump to the I think the quantity uh, of like Nashville versus Denver, yeah. And I don't I haven't I I, uh, I think I passed through Nashville. I didn't stop for any music or anything. Oh, you but, you got you should check that out. But uh, I, I have a hard time believing that anything could be with Austin. <laughs> it was yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, uh, just like a mile of music uh, every night of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I've never been to Austin before. Uh, I've heard there's a lot of music there, like you were yeah. saying. Yeah, Nashville, Nashville can probably compete with that. You know, you know, Music City versus probably. Live Music City, capital of the world. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, so maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Nashville. Good problem to have. Co- yeah, I mean, contrast. I mean, Nashville you got BMI, ASCAP, CMT, almost you know, um, NSAI. Um, you know, all those recording studios right there on Music Row. You know, I'm sure both cities are pretty similar. Yeah. I'm assuming. I Like I'm I said, not, I've been yeah. to Nashville. You haven't. I haven't been to Austin. Right. You have. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> see, that has that sounds like a road trip to me. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're already by. Bye-bye. See you later. Right? I would totally do that. <laughs> uh, so, you, you want to do another song? Yeah. I would, I, would love, One more. I would love for you to do another song. All and right. uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, my other sponsor that I talk about, which is Release Wire. So, you can get set up and I'll just kind of talk about them and... No. You got it, boss. You can do it. Yes. Boss. <laughs> I don't, I don't you like, haven't heard that in a while. Huh? I, don't, I don't like it when people... I never like it when people <laughs> say boss. It, it's not, it's like, that's like a derogatory thing to me. Uh, and I know people usually mean it out of respect. Right. It's sort of derogatory. So I met with uh, Daniel Jones the other day, and I actually asked him, so if I wanted to put a press release out, what should I do? And he's like, yeah, you should probably know that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so they have a really killer deal for if you have a, a single thing uh, for putting a press release out. It's thirty nine ninety nine, and they push you out to things that you pick. So you pick categories, not... Uh, and you can pick geography, too, I think. But uh, we had a good discussion about that because, uh, like, putting... Uh, you know, if you were Z-Man and you were putting out a press release... You might not care if it's in the Packer News right. in, in Green Bay, but you might want it in some music news in Chicago, right? So, so that sort of service is invaluable. And uh, Daniel had another great way of describing their service. He said that uh, your blog on your website is what you put out to the world, and almost anything that you blog about, you should put a press release about. And a press release is a blog for journalists, which is actually really awesome a brilliant way of putting that he gets all the credit for that really genius and he did put a press release out with my name on it so you know (laughs) the interesting thing (laughs) so we're connected on linkedin yeah and i saw your facebook announcements of the new show yeah great congratulations thank you um what was creepy about it was i got a notification in my email box that elliot christensen is in the news oh yeah and it was that that press press release. Yeah. So it, it's really interesting how effective it was to right. he put out a press release, and I assume he was using his own service to do this. You right. know, right. release while you're uh, published that. But then the next day, I was notified that someone I'm connected to on LinkedIn is getting national press. Yeah, I, I saw the same thing. So I couldn't believe it. Like, yeah, I got, I got some, you know, that the weird nervous goosebump kind of thing. <laughs> like, why, why am I in the news? <laughs> you know, because that could go either way. What did know? I do this time? I, I am a little divisive. I'm a little bit like Z-Man, yes. but le- far less, uh, you know, musically inclined. Yeah. <laughs> so can I intro your song? What are you going to play? Yes. You, you can intro your own song. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a song I wrote. This one's called Making and Taking. 
Nice. All right. All right. Go! Huh! <laughs> what you doing to me? What you doing to me? When you're walking on my toes and you're trying to make me know you be walking on my floor. What you doing to me? What you doing to me? When you're walking on my feet and you're trying to make me feel and you're trying to make me fall. I'm a making and a taking and making and a taking. I'm a making and a taking and making. You made a fool of me back in 93. You made a fool of me. Oh, can you see? You made a fool of my rhyme. You made a fool of my time. You made a fool of, fool of me. Yeah. What you doing to me? Oh, what you doing to me? When you're walking in my toes and you're trying to make me. Sweet. Awesome. What was that called? Making and a taking. Making and a taking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I. You know what? Uh, I think that might be my favorite of yours. Thank you. Uh, and how old is that? Oh, that's. I wrote that probably six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So I've I've heard it. Yeah. yeah. It's uh uh, so when I think of Z-Man, that's what I think of. Yes. Uh, Thank you. So as a branding strategy. Yeah. I think you should go with that. That's all. Yeah, well, I think I yeah. think like that should be like uh, you know. Uh, so on Apple Music, they have like an uh, introductory to you know introduction to certain artists, right? Yeah. And I think that should be the first song on the introduction to Z-Man on Apple Music. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it, uh, that is the I to me that's the most. Deep. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but it, you know. No, no. Every, you know, each band has got their own favorites. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know if it's my favorite. I think it's the most you. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. It gotcha. might be my favorite. I'm yeah. trying to figure that out. Yeah. You know, I, I, lo I, I love it. You yes, know, it's, thank you, thank you. Don't get me wrong. Thank you all the yeah. Okay, so, uh. We're ready. We're, we're ready. We can wrap it up if you want to. Yeah. Because we uh, got another guest coming in we, like we, five we, minutes. Well, he said he'd be late. Oh, I know. So uh, make an extra special long edition. I no, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Why? Well, I I care. <laughs> I care a lot. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Went down the wrong tube there. <laughs> well, you know, I I have that impact on people. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. 
Uh, so uh, what, I, what, I, what I want everybody that's listening to walk away from, other than you know some amazing music that you played for us, and thank you for that. <laughs> like, I really, I truly, I, yeah, I can't, no I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Uh, I would like for the uh, you know top five list from Z-Man of what people should do with their own lives, because to me, you are. I have, you know, I always talk about my short list. Yeah. Brent's on my short list. You're on my short list of people that I, there are things that I just admire to me. Just, I want to be you when I grow up. You hey. Know, that, that's yeah. sort of, that, that's that, that. So yeah. give me your nuggets of advice that you would give to anybody that's 20 and, uh, you know, looking forward to career music or career in whatever they're doing. So if you're a young entrepreneur, number one, um, Pick something that you enjoy doing, first of all. Pick something that you enjoy doing. Um, doesn't matter what it is. Um, pick it and go with it. And if it doesn't work, try something else. Um, and then until you find out what you really enjoy um, doing, that makes life so much easier. What do you get up in the What do you get up in the morning for? You know what I mean? Like, what, what are you living for? Um, as soon as you find out what you love to do. Everything else kind of falls into place, you know. You gotta, you gotta remember to, to work hard, um, to keep a positive attitude. Don't let people um, get you down. Take constructive criticism from others. Um, like I said, know your options. Just do what, do what's best to your ability. You know what I mean? And um, evolve from there. You know, you're not gonna be making the big bucks right away. You just gotta start small in, in small stages. You know, and then it just evolves into a giant snowball. And then you roll it downhill. <laughs> so, okay, and uh, I'm going to close out on this, but yeah. boy, you really segued into what I was just going to talk about. When you talk about uh, do what you love, yeah, uh, there's this guy named Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's uh, he's the world's most famous yeah. stock investor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so really, polar opposite to what you do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a biography yeah. written about him. The title of it is called Snowball. Oh uh, wow! Yeah, and yeah, that's uh, yeah funny. I know, yeah. I know, amazing. But, but I was I was going to go with the Warren Buffett thing even before that because his advice to, to people that are starting a business is write down the top twenty five things you love. Yeah, and then throw <laughs> out the bottom twenty. You're not going to do those. No, you are only going to do yeah. one of those top five things. Focus. Just stay focused. Don't don't try to get everything done in one shot because that's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Stay focused. Start, you know, like I said, start small, get an idea, and go from there. You know yeah. what I mean? And craft it and master it and keep mastering it and keep spreading your name out there. You know? So, Spread the joy! Words of wisdom <laughs> from Z Man, who is, Ooh. I'm going to now refer to as the Warren Buffett of music. <laughs> wow. Hey, Thank hey, you, oh, this guy. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Give me here, yeah. All right. And that's a wrap, I think. Woo.